when Mr. Clark, a Scottish farmer, heard that the luxury cruise liner Titanic was to make its very first voyage, its maiden voyage, from the United Kingdom to the United States of America, he had a dream to be on the ship with his wife and his five children. He practically spent most of his life's savings to buy tickets for his entire family, non-refundable tickets. Guess what? Just a week before the Titanic made its way to America, one of Mr. Clark's son was bitten by a dog. The doctor recommended that the boy be quarantined for his own safety and for the safety of others around him. Mrs. Clark suggested that he and the other children actually make their way on the trip. But Mr. Clark's conscience did not allow him to leave his wife and his ill son behind. Wednesday, the 10th of April, 1912. As the Titanic sailed forth from the Southampton port in Hampshire, England, Mr. Clark stood there crying tears of disappointment and frustration. All his money was gone and none of them could make their way on the trip. Just five days later, on Monday, the 15th of April, when Mr. Clark heard news that the Titanic had sunk, having collided with an iceberg, he started looking for the dog. Kutta kidhar hai? Kutte ko mala pehna na padega. Ki puja karni padega. Pranam karna padega. Agar bete ko kutta nahi kaatta, to hum sab kaat chaate. Ladies and gentlemen, isn't it amazing how many plans we make? And isn't it a reality? Not everything goes according to our plans. Even in the game of chess, we may come completely prepared with our strategy to win the game. We may even make our moves thinking that everything will go according to what we had decided and planned. The reality, however, is once we have made our move, we have no control over the moves that the opponent will make. We have no idea that the opponent has also made his or her plan. Whether it's the game of chess or the game of life, not everything goes according to what we had envisioned in our lives. This is exactly why there's a great need to go with the flow, to not be rigid about what we had decided, to learn to change our strategy as per the need of the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, adjust your plans, adapt to the challenges that life throws at you, adopt new strategies to match those of your opponent. Life, apply the greatest virtue of flexibility. Don't be rigid. Let's learn a very important lesson from the river Ganga as she emanates from the Himalayan mountains with her plan to move and reach her destination. She is not rigid. She is extremely flexible. As sometimes mountains throw challenges in the form of rocks on her path, she does not stop. She will either go above them or under them, around them, but she keeps moving until she reaches her destination. Whatever challenge comes on your pathway, just keep moving. Thank you.